Took a win, took a loss. That just made me a boss. Times I feel like I'm a flaw. Yo, if you like this intro song, make sure you download it on Apple Music or stream it over on Spotify. I even have more music over on SoundCloud. Link in the description down below. Art is a way to express emotion. I have been listening to Nipsey Hussle since early high school. His mixtapes, The Marathon, The Marathon Continues, Victory Lap. Just a, a lot of his music got me through some tough times. Um, when depression would hit, I would go on YouTube and, and type in Nipsey Hussle music and just listen to his music for motivation. So so when I found out what happened to him, it hit me kind of hard. And the way I express my emotion is painting. So that was the first thing that came into my mind is to just paint this picture of him while I listen to some of his music. So today, what I got for y'all is a time lapse of me painting a Nipsey Hussle painting with some dope motivational Nipsey Hussle words in the background. So check it out and let me know what you think. Hit me in the comment section down below. RIP Nipsey Hussle. Marathon is just about seeing long term, seeing a vision, genius, understanding that nothing really worthwhile happens overnight and just sticking to your script long enough to make something real happen. Laying a brick every day instead of trying to build a brick wall. Just lay a brick every day. Basically, you look up, you don't have a brick wall. Long winded, running through this life like it was mine. Never settling, but setting every goal high. 1,000 burpees on the path to my own destruction or success. But what is a mistake without the lesson? See, the best teacher in life is your own experience. None of us know who we are until we fail. They say every man is defined by his reaction to any given situation. Well, who would you want to define you? Someone else or yourself? Whatever you do, homie, give your heart to me and stay strong. Stay strong. Being so hopeless at one point and then having an opportunity to make you go harder and make you get in that booth and just really express that hopelessness. Like, man, y'all don't understand. This is like, you know what I mean? You dig from a different place. That, that bottom of your soul, that pit, homie, where, yo, where, where you felt like the shit was, you, you know what I'm saying? You always wanted, but it looked like it was just not gonna happen. It looked like it was out of reach. It looked like you was just knee deep in, in, some, in some concrete quicksand and it wasn't gonna let you go. But now to be in a situation where, you know what I mean, you can speak and touch hundreds of thousands and millions of motherfuckers, like, you definitely dig from a real place and a sincere place that I think connect with a lot of people. Um, the best, best advice I can give is just find what you gotta do and then figure out how to make it make you yeah. You don't love to do what you're doing, it's just hard. Whether all the ups and downs and setbacks and fucking stuff. But if you love it, you know, you're just thinking and you're gonna ride it out, you know. So if you love what you're doing, you find a way to make it make you money, you know, you're gonna see yourself. You know, more than anything, we wake up and, and we blessed every morning. We still got a lot of work to do, so we don't get too um caught up in in, in, in what's going on. We just stay focused on what we got to do as far as to take it to the next level. So we definitely bless and we, we mindful of that, you know what I'm saying? And not too many shot we got. So we, we, we delicate with it and we nurture it and we work hard. We in Paris, France right now. It's our second day out here yesterday. We flew in, went to the studio, knocked some shit out, just started working. So we got the show tonight and uh, we just about to really see the city. TMC, this shit don't stop. You already know. Yeah. I grew up, you know what I'm saying, in LA, on the west side, French on Swanson area. It's a lot going on in LA, especially out in certain areas. You know, we kind of got taken into that when we was a little bit younger. And then life moved on, you know what I'm saying? Opportunities were created. We was able to hop into this situation with the music. That was such a blessing. We were so fortunate for that because it's nine out of 10 people that got goals and ambitions to be in entertainment and being musical. What we're doing is hard, and a lot of times it don't happen. That's the big feat to me, not gang bang. I was forever getting into the game, became relevant. Shit that really blew my mind. The struggles that, that we that we um, went through and overcame and still going through most definitely just gave us a mentality. When I say us, I mean me and my team, my brothers, the mentality that, you know, this is nothing. If we could if we could make it past that and when it looked like it was all over and there was no hope and it was, you know, the end of the road and it was just like we was all at our lowest of low. But, but we still move past that. It, it's starting to rise again. It's starting to recover and bounce back. So 
whatever speed bumps you come across in this music industry, it doesn't compare yeah, to, you know what I'm saying, being talking about the law, doing time, you know what I mean, going through wars out here in the streets, losing loved ones, all that, you know what I mean, so whatever little speed bump we'll come across in this industry is going gonna, gonna to seem like, you know, it's not too much of nothing, it's going to be a little burden probably or, you know, a little pressure, but compared to what the, our life was before this, you know what I mean, it's just like no brain to just keep pushing, I'm going to through this shit. And that's what they be threatening these rappers with, like, well, how you gonna be big? How you gonna become a star without our marketing machine? Who said a nigga, that was a nigga dog? My shit on the wall, my nigga. That, that. Above all, create something to be proud of. That's my goal, that's my mentality, bro, my project. To be proud of motherfuckers forever, not for the moment when they splash and they getting talked about. Forever, I can go back and listen, I'm proud of you, still. They force my hand. But I think of ways, nigga. To, Cause I'm not I'm not selling for underground. I'm not cool with that. And I'm not selling for non-ownership. I ain't cool with that. So I gotta find a middle ground. How do I own my shit and still be received on a mainstream platform and be able to compete on the mainstream platform? I'm better than niggas. Niggas can't fuck with me. Niggas ain't real as me. Niggas ain't live life how a nigga live life, make the decisions a nigga made. Or the sacrifice. Niggas ain't stand up. When it was time to stand up. So, I'm playing with a handicap, but I'm still getting judged on my results. My whole strategy is how to, what's the middle ground? How do I compete on that level without giving up ownership? That's the catch 22 that they gotta send. They like the social pressure to compete. You rapping, you wanna be the top nigga. 